Greetings from MSF's Projects Analytics. This Primavera P6 training tutorial demonstrates the Activity Usage Profile. You can use the Activity Usage Profile to view cost or unit values for activities in the currently opened projects over time according to a time scale that you specify. Before we get started, let's learn how you can display the Activity Usage Profile in your bottom layout. Go to your Layout Options bar, select Show on Bottom, and select Activity Usage Profile. The Activity Usage Profile consists of a left pane and right pane. The right pane is where the profile is actually displayed. In the profile, you can select to display labor, non-labor, material, and expense costs, or you can display labor and non-labor units allocated to the activities in your project over time. Costs and units allocated to your activities for each period in the time scale are represented as vertical bars. You can also display curves for charting cumulative costs or units over time. Currently, my profile is displaying labor units. My budgeted labor units are displayed with the yellow bars. My remaining labor units are displayed with the green bars. And any actual labor units are displayed with blue bars. On the left pane of my profile, I can establish a filter. I filter the profile to include all activities included in my top layout or only those activities that I've selected. So for example, if I only wanted my profile to display for those activities in the Design and Engineering WBS, I can select those click the button to show usage for selected activities and when I do so my profile will only display for those selected activities allowing me to focus my analysis on those items. I'm going to change back to all activities. Another option that I have on the left pane is to, to display activities for the selected time period. So for example if I wanted to focus my analysis on the week of February 7th of 2010 and see what activities were contributing to actual labor units during that week, I would do the following. I'll check the box to display activities for the selected time period, and then I just merely click on that time period on the time scale. And the activities that display will be according to that time scale. So I can quickly switch between time periods to see what activities are contributing to those numbers. Again, enabling me to improve my ability to analyze my activities. I can customize the contents of my activity usage profile by going to the right pane display options bar. Here I can change the time scale that is displayed. And I can also change the data by going to Activity Usage Profile Options. On the Data tab, I can decide whether I want to display costs or units. Currently, my display is showing units. I can quickly toggle to costs. When I toggle to costs, I can display labor, non-labor, material, and expense costs and I can control the way that the bars are displayed for those corresponding cost items. I can also indicate what bars and curves I would like to display. I can display by date or with a cumulative curve baseline, budgeted, actual, remaining early, or remaining late cost or units. So as an example, if I would like to see a cumulative curve for remaining early costs, I can check the box and click Apply and quickly see that cumulative curve on my profile. The dollars displayed on the right-hand side of the profile are for the cumulative curve. I'm going to uncheck Remaining Early and click Apply to remove that curve. 
Additionally, I have the opportunity to show earned value curves. Plan value, earned value, and estimate at completion values can also be displayed on the profile. If I go to the graph tab, I can identify if I would like to display major and minor vertical lines, how I would like my horizontal lines to be displayed. I can toggle the legend off and on, display my bars as 3D or not. I can also change the background color and calculate averages. I'm going to click OK. So currently, I'm showing my labor cost information, including my earned value curves. And just to recap, I'm currently displaying this profile for all activities in the currently opened project. I could, however, select just one or a group of items. In this instance, I'll select the entire WBS for design and engineering and show those profiles for the selected activities. So now I see my earned value curves and cost information related to those activities only. I also have the opportunity to display that information by time period. And when I select that option, I can click on the time periods and those activities corresponding to those time periods will display in my activity table. So to recap, you can use the activity usage profile to help you focus on cost or unit information for activities in the currently opened projects over time based on the time scale that you specify. Hopefully this information was valuable to you. Thank you very much.